Hi, I'm Rachel with Bow Easy, and today we are going to put a driftwood finish on this old, already white cabinet, and we washed it and rinsed it really well. Okay, so we're going to start with our can of driftwood. This is the first step. We're going to stir it. Then we've already got our drop cloth out. We're going to use a little cheap chip brush, which is my favorite. It gives a good look of grain and work fast. Just go in the direction that the wood panels would be on a real piece of furniture. The cool thing is if you make a mistake, it's very easy to just pull it back out. If you have little holes in your furniture, just make sure you dab it, fill them in. You can see it's not perfect, but that's okay. It's gonna look more like real wood. So the wood grain look over white is very convincing. Uh, since we used our chip brush in step one over the white, white, looks great. So if you have a dark piece and you paint it white or a light color first, then you can also get this beautiful grain look. Okay, now we're gonna let this first coat dry for about 20 to 30 minutes. Keep in mind that more humidity in the air is gonna take a little bit longer dry time. Now we're going to use blue painter's tape to tape off the cabinet to give the appearance of panels of wood put together. I'm going to start here. So now we're going to take this off to give the appearance of two pieces of wood glued together like on a real wood cabinet panel. So I'm going to start by measuring out a piece of tape. Start at the top and really push that tape into the crevices. And then holding up here, kind of eyeball down so it gets fairly straight. And then you can take your cutter or even just a household pocket knife and cut this little round part off. And down here. All right, and then the other side doesn't have to be in the exact same place because on real furniture it's going to be different. So to make it more authentic, on this side I'm going to make the strip a little wider. Really pushing it into those crevices. And it down. And then I'm going to add another piece of tape. This time to make it a wider joint of wood. Okay, so we have a thicker 
panel here. Cut off the excess tape here. Make sure I got that. Okay, now we have our tape on. I'm going to quickly brush this same product over the whole area and then go back and do a crosshatch watch. The key though is to first cover everything with the product around the tape. Okay. That. All right. Now here's the fun part. I'm just going to cross hatch it. how that looks like driftwood. Catch those drips. All right. When you're doing faux finishing, faster is better. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. All right, we're gonna do the drawers. Just leave them in and just pull them out a little bit. Again, move quickly. Get the product on. All right, our second layer of the step one is dry now. We're going to pull off the tape. Okay, now what we're going to do is take the second step, which is a darker shade, and we're going to cover the whole door again and then cross hatch in the opposite direction that we cross hatched before. Again, we're gonna move quickly. So we're covering the whole area. So we're now putting our third coat of polyurethane on, which is basically like three coats of top coat. So you don't even have to have a top coat. And it's super easy to apply. And now we let it dry again for about 20 minutes and you've got a beautiful driftwood finish.